now is a hard place for me to go. And I'd first like to welcome Ambassador Joe Wilson uh, to the INN World Report. And once again, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Ambassador Wilson, how do you join up with Mikey Weinstein in this fight for equality within the military? Well, I have been following what Mikey has been doing um, uh, ever since he, um, he first got, came to the public's attention on this. And uh, he was kind enough to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to participate. And I said, absolutely, yes. This is just uh, the other side of the same coin uh, of, the, of the fight that I'm fighting. Uh, it's a fight, really, uh, for our way of life. It's a fight for an American society that operates under a contract of social governance that's based on the Constitution of the United States and not on any other uh, document or any other cult following. Uh, so I was delighted to, um, uh, to step in. And as I point out, he's the field general in the fight against the theocons. And uh, I'm waging my own particular fight against the neocons, who are those who would uh, transform our republic into an empire. Well, let's get back to your fight with the neocons. It's just been uh, revealed by Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington that emails lost by the White House, and they cite some five million emails that could have been deleted or purposely deleted from the government's own servers. Some of those emails were deleted and would have been a part eh, of the investigation into the CIA leak case, which you've become and your wife have become famous for. Uh, do you believe any of these emails that came forward could have shed more light on the situation and could possibly be a reason to reopen the case at the criminal level? Well, certainly Crew, which is the uh, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, which, by the way, also represents us in our civil suit, um, has, uh, has sent Mr. Fitzgerald a letter urging him to uh, take a look at this new evidence and uh, determine for himself whether or not it's appropriate to reopen the investigation. In fact, I believe they've gone further and uh, urged him to reopen the investigation into uh, the possible role of Karl Rove, who we know uh, betrayed the national security of the country by leaking uh, Valerie's name or identity uh, to Matt Cooper and, um, and to uh, uh, Bob Novak. Ambassador Wilson, you have a civil suit against the government in this matter. How's that going? Well, there'll be um, oral uh, arguments heard on May 17th. Uh, uh, the other side, the defendants are Vice President Cheney, Mr. Libby, Mr. Rove, and Rich Armitage, former De Deputy Secretary of State. They are arguing for summary dismissal. Uh, they're asserting sovereign immunity and limited immunities, and they're making a number of other assertions. Those oral arguments will be heard on May 17th. Anybody who wants to read more about that can go to www.wilsonsupport.org uh, to get uh, up-to-date information. But we, uh, we are taking this suit uh, basically to get the truth out, uh, to hold public officials accountable, those who would abuse the public trust uh, by using their positions in the public uh, uh, sector uh, to engage in private political vendettas. And thirdly, we would like to use this suit as a way of uh, discouraging and deterring future generations of public servants from engaging in such uh, what we consider to be aberrant behavior. One last question for Mikey Weinstein. Uh, you eventually filed suit against the Air Force for violation of constitutional rights. What is the result of that suit and where has this gone? Well, um, of course, I went in initially with my taxpayer standing, which is, you know, the weakest standing you can have. I wanted, I was sure that within uh, a matter of six or seven days that the, the, uh, the, the Air Force or the Justice Department, which was representing the Air Force, um, uh, headed up by um, uh, that fine Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, would want to uh, just settle this case with a, you know, a, a simple uh, statement that we would give to the judge. We waited eight days and then we, we reached out to them saying, because all we were asking is that the military would agree to treat religion to religion neutrally, and even the concept of religion to no religion neutrally, which is word for word right out of the, the, the latest and greatest Supreme Court cases which had come down in the summer of 2005. We also demanded that the Air Force would agree that none of its members could ever again, against their will, involuntarily be, be pressured or exhorted uh, to change their religious faith during the duty day or duty night. I mean, we didn't think we could ask for anything less other than for the Air Force to agree to show up every morning, wear its underwear, put on its uniform and brush its teeth, but uh, they refused to settle. We had four second lieutenants, all of them academy graduates, uh, some of them Christian, some of them Jewish, who joined the uh, lawsuit. And we had one sergeant in the Air Force who was a, a recruiter who was being told to use Jesus Christ as a re recruiting tool. Um, and we hung in there for 55 weeks and then the Justice Department filed a million motions. We filed motions and we got um, uh, dismissed 
uh, without prejudice, where the judge said, look, I'm not going to rule on the merits, this is a standing issue, and essentially said things that, well, the lieutenants um, are now out in the Air Force, most of the allegations at that time focused on the Air Force Academy. So basically, we, we're using the judge's um, uh, dismissal without prejudice to craft a new dagger, and we expect to be back into court again very, very shortly, and we will continue to stab and stab at this unconstitutional heart of darkness uh, and, and an attempt to, uh, again, create a theocracy um, in our very, very noble U.S. military. Mikey, one last thing. I'm going to go out on a limb here and take a guess that you voted Republican in your lifetime. Uh, I could be wrong. You can tell me I'm wrong, but let's say I'm right. Has your opinion of the party and what the party has done to essentially approve of and use this Christian coalition as part of their overall coalition to stay in power, do you still approve of what that party has done in regards to your case? I, I am a registered Republican. Uh, what I've seen uh, my party do uh, is uh, essentially commit felony after felony against democracy. Uh, it repulses me. Uh, I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed when I look at the Republican Party. It seems as though the GOP stands for God's own party. And this is not the party that I knew, not the party of Lincoln, not the party of Jacob Javits or even Barry Goldwater. Uh, as I said before, they have uh, seem to have mastered the ability to uh, um, um, commit these felonies against democracy. I'm ashamed and I'm very happy to say that I voted uh, 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 the last three presidential elections, I voted uh, straight Democrat. The book with God on our side is published by St. Martin's Press. Mikey, is it available in all bookstores? How can people get it? It's at Borders, it's at Barnes and Nobles, it's on Amazon. You can also go to our website, which is www.militaryreligiousfreedom.org. Everything goes to our foundation. We're a, a charity, a nonprofit, a 501c3. And, uh, you know, I would ask for uh, Americans that have a conscience, irrespective of their uh, religious faith or lack thereof or whatever their political views are, this is, an, a, bi uh, this is a bipartisan uh, situation. This is something that involves the very basis of what created our country, what's uh, created the greatest sense of, uh, of uh, the, the, the greatest experiment ever in the history of mankind. So please visit our website and consider supporting us in our fight against those that would create a, uh, a fundamentalist Christian theocracy in, it's hard to say it, but the United States of America. Michael L. Weinstein. Ambassador Joseph Wilson, thank you for joining us on the INN World Report. Good to be with you. Thank you. A pleasure. The International News Net World Report is broadcast television in more than 20 million homes in America. We are non-commercial, non-profit, and we are viewer-supported. That is how we can bring you these kinds of stories and interviews five days a week. Keep INN broadcasting. Please go to our website, INNWorldReport.net, and contribute what you can. You can also email us at INNWorldReport at gmail.com. At gmail.com.